You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife, not in the picture, but has to be mentioned. Hello, I'm H.G. Judah. As you really ought to know by now from my work, the narcissist needs to be the centre of attention. And you see this repeatedly with this one's wife. Always finding the camera lens, barging in front of people, interrupting handshakes, trying to take centre stage by grabbing the microphone, emerging first in front of Harry, relegating Harry to the background while she holds the birthday cake. We've seen repeated instances whereby she needs to get in front to muscle in to ensure that she is the centre of attention. At the moment, the Princess of Wales is facing a rather unnecessary storm about an edited photograph. It really is a mountain being made out of a molehill, but of course it's typical of the behaviour of the press and certain sections of social media. This is something of a mixed bag for this one's wife. On the one hand, she'll be revelling in the discomfort that, this, that Catherine is experiencing, because of course she doesn't like Catherine, as she is painted black by virtue of being the nemesis. She has no emotional empathy for her sister-in-law, and even her cognitive empathy is missing on this occasion, whereby, as I've explained in the immediate video preceding this, that she isn't moved to demonstrate any support whatsoever. In fact, given that she is a nasty individual, she'll be enjoying the fact that Catherine is facing criticism from the press. This one's wife will be essentially saying, now see how you like it, because she will hitherto have regarded the fact that generally, although in the past Catherine has faced some criticism as weighty Katie, etc., photographs of her topless and so forth, she has had the trial by media in the past and has been lambasted. But more recently, they've treated her far more favourably. But it just demonstrates how the press only does what it wants. And the fact that the press doesn't like the fact that a photograph is released rather than them being able to take photographs of Catherine means that they have somewhat gone on the warpath on this occasion. Thus, as she faces criticism about the issue of the photograph and that it's being described as a fiasco and a disaster, etc., this one's wife will be reveling in that, enjoying the fact that Catherine's having something of a torrid time. But as I mentioned, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, because it's Catherine that's being mentioned and not her. And thus, this one's wife, once again showing the hypocrisy of the narcissist, on the one hand, revels in the fact that Catherine's being spoken about, but then also needs to be spoken about herself. And therefore, this is why you get articles such as this in page 6. As Sarah Nathan reports, Kate Middleton's Photoshop fail mocked by sources close to this one's wife. They'd never make that mistake. It wouldn't be a surprise, of course, if the sources close to this one's wife are this one's wife, or, of course, somebody that is a spokesperson for her who has been instructed to make mention of how this one's wife wouldn't make such a mistake as this in order to ensure that while she's not in the photograph that much of the world is talking about, she at least must be mentioned. Sources close to this one's wife and Prince Harry waded into Kate Middleton's bizarre photo editing crisis on Monday saying, this isn't a mistake this one's wife would ever make. Well, let's just stop there. First of all, What's the relevance of this one's wife to it all? It's not about her. It's about Catherine. Therefore, it's nothing to do with this one's wife. Nevertheless, this one's wife can't have it that everybody's talking about Catherine and not her. So it's detracting. It's taking attention away from her, which she needs to win back. And therefore, it's necessary for her to orchestrate somebody speaking up, saying, this isn't a mistake this one's wife would ever make, which once again demonstrates her grandiosity. Of course, that's a load of rubbish. Because we already know, for instance, that this one's wife and Harry put out a photograph of them lying on the grass at Monte Shitshow with an, an adjusted photograph which their own photographer admitted that he'd done, that he had, uh, Misen Harriman, that had admitted that he had photoshopped in a weeping willow tree in the background. So, 
Okay, it might not perhaps have been as obvious as the editing errors that appeared in the photo released by Catherine, but to say it's not something they wouldn't have done is wholly incorrect. The christening photograph that has been shown is questionable. I know that the people have taken that apart, querying the fact that Charles and Camilla seem to be wearing the same outfits that they were wearing on the day of a christening that the actual photograph seems to have been taken at nearly 11 o'clock at night, that in that photograph, Kate doesn't appear to be sitting properly on the seat. And there are various other aspects of the photograph that have been queried, which suggest that it might have been edited stroke photoshopped. There are also pictures where, I think it was Archie was being shown to the Queen, that have fallen to speculation as to the photoshopping that has gone on the Christmas card photograph where this one's wife is holding, I think, Lilibet up in the air. The hand doesn't look right in that photograph that appears that it's at a strange angle, that Harry doesn't appear to be looking directly at the child but looking beyond, and therefore that invited speculation about being photoshopped. There are numerous instances where Harry, as we know, who's got a bit of the old Friar Tuck going on with his hair, suddenly appears with a full head of hair. It isn't the hair plugs that have suddenly been put in, but someone's airbrushed some ginger in for him. There's nothing particularly sinister about that. It's simply giving him more hair than he's actually got. But there are just a number of instances that I can mention off the top of my head, which completely fly in the face of the statement, this isn't a mistake this one's wife would ever make. It is. She clearly has been involved in Photoshop photographs, but once again, demonstrating the compartmentalisation, the blame shifting, and coming along and needing to make it all about her, she comes rushing in saying, oh, don't forget about me. Don't keep talking just about Catherine. You need to talk about me too. I'm not in the picture, but I need mentioning as well. The source says the exiled British royals would have been annihilated if they had handed out secretly photoshopped images of themselves and their family, sources told page six. Well, they have. Where they have done it and people have queried it, there's been intense speculation about it. The claim comes after Middleton released a photo of herself and her three children. She's not called Middleton. She's the Princess of Wales. And her three children for British Mother's Day, more than two months since she vanished from public view to deal with a mystery health condition. But it's only a mystery because she doesn't tell anybody what it is. It's not because it's like nobody knows what it is. She knows what the health condition is, but quite properly, she's not telling anybody outside of her family. The world's leading photographic news agencies, including Reuters and the Associated Press, warned against their use, telling customers, including newspapers and television outlets around the world, to kill the photo. Its metadata showed that it had been edited hastily on Friday and Saturday before its release. There was even speculation she had reused a 2016 Vogue cover to create a Frankenstein image. On Monday, the Princess of Wales issued an apology for any confusion sparked by the image, saying, I do occasionally experiment with editing. Prince William had taken the photo. But sources close to her brother-in-law Harry and his wife told page six if Harry and this one's wife had ever encountered the same issue, they would have been annihilated. The same rules do not apply to both couples. This isn't a mistake that this one's wife would ever make. Not true. She has a keen eye, yeah, for the camera, and freakish attention to detail, yes, when it involves her. There are at least ten failures in the photo, with the only image of Prince George, ten, apparently unaltered. It then goes on to mention some of the mistakes that have occurred, which we are familiar with them. Despite calls for the original to be published, Kensington Palace said it would not be reissuing the unedited photograph of Middleton and her children. The bizarre photo bomb threw lighter fuel on the intense speculation, much of it online, around Middleton's long-running disappearance from public life. It's not a mystery. She's had abdominal surgery, will be returning after Easter. That's what everybody's been told, and that's what has happened. Nevertheless, we have another opportunity here for this one's wife to try and muscle in on the action. It's all about Catherine, even though she'll be reveling, as I said, in her discomfort. But she has to ensure that she gets mentioned. But how are people reacting to this? Below the line, Anne Hall writes, HRH Catherine, Princess of Wales, doesn't live on social media, trying to coax people into following her and liking her posts. She's actually celebrated as an incredibly famous person. She put out a photo of herself and her children for Mother's Day. She played with the image. Who doesn't these days? 
It wasn't about her recuperation. It is a beautiful photo of a mother and her children. The others have to appear to pay to appear anywhere. No one cares, so they have to publish press releases. This one's wife had an amazing opportunity and she blew it. The princess will always be more popular and more important. The duchess will continue to spiral. She should photoshop that boxy frumping figure and the azempic face. Kaira. Megzi has all her photos edited and photoshopped, and then some aren't even real. Let's not forget the Halloween picture of a mum and dad with two kids who were out trick-or-treating that was taken from behind. She posted it, claiming it was her and Harry out with their kids. It was so obviously not them. Everyone knows their antics. People just yawned. Wish I was in Texas. Hey, this one's wife. Remember the fake NYC chase and recollections may vary and how you and Harry were made to sit in the second row, well away from the important people at the Queen's Jubilee and how Harry wasn't allowed to stay in one of the royal residences when he visited London recently and how the King left by helicopter after only seeing Harry for a few minutes and how you'll never get to wear any of the crown jewels that Catherine gets to wear. I could go on, but I won't. Stupid people. This one's wife has professionals retouch and photoshop her photos. She also takes her personal photographer when there are no others around. The Windsors posted a simple picture that did not hurt anyone. So opera dive. This one's wife does her own photoshop. It's obvious. Mies and Harriman also admitted to major photoshop work on at least one of their photos. Housewife. Who is surprised that Harry and this one's wife would claim that they are the victims when neither one of them was even in the picture? you nork post yep we all need to say it's not about you this one's wife guest squeaky amazing how they managed to do that again and it's quite clearly the case that this one's wife needs to be spoken about even though what is going on isn't about her and then rather predictably makes it about her but does so in a way whereby she tells a lie once again feeding it through somebody else I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.